So it seems like we need some more practice going from 2D to 3D. This is a fun shape because you can draw it to look like furniture. I did a bed. So you can kind of see how that goes. So that's this shape without all the extra drawing and everything like that. You can see that I did dotted lines where we are gonna cut and saw the lines where we're gonna fold. And then this is just this shape here um, without being colored. Okay, I have paper, scissors, and something to color with if I want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half so I have a line that I can um, fold to. And then I'm just gonna fold it over again. Now we need some going the other direction. So I'm gonna fold this into threes and it's a little bit trickier. And kind of line up the paper like that. And if it's not perfect, it's not a problem. Just means your bed's not perfectly in the center of the room. Probably a lot of us have beds that aren't perfectly in the center of the room. Okay, so this is gonna be where my bed is. Now I have to decide how tall I want my bed to be. So you can see here that this fold determines the height of the bed. It's the little ruffle part. And I take my paper Okay, you don't need to mark it if you can see yours. I just marked mine so you can see it in the camera. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna cut the dotted line up to this fold. Pull it out. Now I have hole. Big enough for my scissors to go through. I didn't cut it quite far enough down at the bottom. And there's my bed. And you can color it before or after you cut it. I did mine both. I did the outline of the bed and then I went back and did the hearts and everything after I cut it.